The Supreme Court and Bank on Tuesday upholds the acquittal of Pampanga representative and former president Gloria Arroyo in her plunder case that stemmed from the 366 million peso Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office fund scam. The SCN Bank denies the motion for reconsideration filed by the Office of the Ombudsman seeking the reversal of the July 2016 decision. SE spokesman Ted Tess says the High Court voted 11-4 with dissents from Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno, Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio, and Associate Justices Marvic Leonen and Benjamin Kagiwa. This means that President Rodrigo Duterte's appointees, Associate Justices Noel Tiham and Samuel Martires, voted in favor of Arroyo. When the SE acquitted Arroyo in July 2016, the same four justices also dissented. The High Court's decision is the latest blow to the Ombudsman's bid to hold accountable personalities in the PCSO fund scam. Senator Laila de Lima on Tuesday admits in a memorandum that the notarization of her affidavits was not done face-to-face -face with Notary Public Maria Cecil Tresvalles Caballo. The issue of a falsified notarization was raised by Solicitor General Jose Calida, who said it was his knockout punch against De Lima. But De Lima's camp dismisses this as legal nitpicking and hair splitting. Calida, during the oral arguments before the Supreme Court, said that because the notarization is falsified, the entire petition before the SC is moot and should therefore be dismissed outright. De Lima's lawyers say the situation on February 24, the day she was arrested, made it difficult for the senator to make a personal appearance before Caballo and have her affidavit notarized. But they insist Caballo notarized the petition inside Camp Crame, the National Police Headquarters, after personally meeting with De Lima. Kalida previously submitted affidavits of De Lima's close-in cops who swore that they did not witness any signing of document between De Lima and another lawyer. Caballo, in her affidavit, explained that the documents were already signed by De Lima when it was handed to her for her notarization. De Lima, in her memorandum, also highlights the procedural and substantive outrages allegedly committed by the Justice Department panel that investigated her supposed involvement in the new Belibid prison drug trade. She says, quote, these various due process violations, disregard of constitutional rights, and violations of laws and procedure reveal a clear and unmistakable pattern of persecution. At least 25 people are killed in a bus accident in Caranglan, Nueva Ecija, Tuesday. Local police say at least 25 people died on the spot after a Lomaric trans bus fell into a ravine in Capintalan village in Caranglan around 11 a.m. At least 22 others are injured and are brought to hospitals in Bayumbong, Aritao, and Bambang towns in Nueva Vizcaya, and San Jose City and Cabanatuan City in Nueva Ecija. The Lomaric Trans bus was traveling from Isabela to Candon Town in Ilocos Sur when the accident happened. Initial investigation shows the bus driver was speeding and overtook vehicles before the bus fell into the ravine. Abu Sayyaf leader Radulion Sahiron sends feelers for his surrender. Sahiron is on the United States list of most wanted terrorists. He was charged in a U.S. court in 2007 for involvement in the kidnapping of U.S. citizens. The U.S. offered a $1 million bounty for his capture. Joint Task Force Sulu Commander Cirilito Sobehana says they are taking the information seriously, which came from a person known to be Sahiron's friend. Sahiron is estimated to be 74 years old. He is believed to be tired and weary of always moving from one place to another to escape the military, with its self-imposed deadline to crush the Abu Sayyaf by June 30. Sahiron became the Abu Sayyaf's overall leader in 2005 after Qaddafi Janjalani was killed by the military in Sulu. United States Vice President Mike Pence reiterates his country's commitment to the security of Japan Tuesday after North Korea vowed to launch missile tests every week. Pyongyang defied international pressure Sunday with a test that failed immediately after launch. Pence is in Tokyo for talks with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. He praises the long-standing security ties between the two countries. Pence says, quote, the alliance between the United States and Japan is a cornerstone of peace and security in Northeast Asia. 
Abe calls for a peaceful resolution to the North Korea tensions, but did not rule out the need for tough measures. He says, in his words, it is a matter of paramount importance for us to seek diplomatic efforts as well as peaceable settlements of the issue.